Namaste. I am Komal, your yoga guru from Soul I Am. Whether you are a casual yogi or a fitness enthusiast, a strong and a flexible back will always be the basis of your comfort and health. When our hectic lifestyle forces us to spend long hours in front of the computer or behind the wheel of a car, we are bound to develop a bad back. So follow this step-by-step -step guide to back strengthening yoga and you will soon be on your way to developing a strong back and a relief from discomfort and stress. Before we begin with the asana practice, always remember to do a few stretches and a few rounds of Surya Namaskar to warm up the body and prepare the body for practice. Let's begin today's practice with the palm tree or the Tadasana. The Tadasana will help in stretching all the muscles of your body from your heels right up to your fingertips. It will also help in lengthening the spinal column and releasing any stress or tension that you might be holding on over there. To do the palm tree or the Tadasana, stand tall with your arms by your sides. Now bring your arms out from the sides, interlace your fingers and place your palms on top of your head. Lift your heels and try to push your palms up. Stretch the entire body as much as you can and hold for about 10 seconds. Now slowly turn your palms down, bring your heels down and rest your palms on your head. Repeat this about four to five times. So inhale and stretch up, lengthen the body completely. And as you exhale, drop your heels down and bring your palms on your head. When you've completed five times, you can bring your arms down. The next posture we're doing is Trikonasan or the triangle. Usually a weak back is caused due to weakness in the hips and in the hamstring muscle. The triangle will strengthen the muscles of the hips and the hamstrings and also strengthen the upper back and the chest. To do the triangle pose, stand with your feet at least three feet apart with your right foot turned out to the right side. But keep your hips squared to the front. Now as you inhale, bring your arms out to the sides then as you exhale, stretch your right arm to the right and then bring your right hand and hold your leg wherever you reach. So you could hold your calves or your ankle. Turn your hips to the front, lift your chest up and turn your head to look up at your fingers. Hold for about 10 seconds. And then as you inhale, come back up to the center. Turn the right foot in and your left foot to the left side. Repeat the same thing on the left side. So just push your hips back, stretch your left arm forward and as you exhale, bring your hand on your leg and lengthen the right arm up. Keep tucking your tailbone in, pushing your hips forward and lifting your chest up. Hold again for about 10 seconds. And as you inhale, come back up to center and exhale to drop your arms down. Another quick and effective yoga pose to get relief from back pain is the cat-cow pose or the Marjari Asan. This posture can be done several times during the day and will help in increasing the flexibility of your back. To do the Marjari stretch, come on all fours with your shoulders above your wrists and your knees about hip distance apart and keep your back in a neutral position. As you inhale, drop your lower back down. Try to lift your head up and your tailbone up. As you exhale, round your back, tuck your tailbone in, drop your head down and try to look at your navel. Again, as you inhale, drop your lower back, lift your head and your tailbone up. This is the cat stretch. And as you exhale, round up your back, tuck your tailbone, drop your head down. This is the cow stretch. Do this a few times, about five to six times.
and when you finish return to a neutral spine to give a counter stretch to the marjari asan we will relax in child's pose so just push your hips back towards your heels rest your belly on your thighs keep your arms lengthened and just try to relax your shoulders this will give a relief to your lower back and release any stress that you might be holding on posture we are doing is the cobra or the bhujang asan the bhujang asan is the best posture for improving the strength of your back it also helps in releasing tension from the lower back for the bhujang asan lie on your belly keep your hands under your shoulders and try and keep your feet together now as you inhale roll your shoulders back and try to lift your chest off the floor For the more advanced options you can lift your hands off the floor but keep squeezing your hips to protect your lower back To release bring your hands on the floor and drop the head down relaxing your lower back and your hips Repeat this posture about 2 to 3 times so as you inhale roll your shoulders back lift your head and your chest off the floor Keep your hips squeezed and then slowly lift your hands off the floor. To release, bring your hands down, relax your lower back and drop your head down. Follow the cobra pose with a sphinx pose as this is a good posture to counteract lower back pain. After you've completed the cobra pose, bring your forearms on the mat. So your elbows come under your shoulders. Now try to lengthen your neck, pulling your head up. Keep your shoulders down away from your ears and try to relax your lower back and your hips. This provides a great relief to your lower back and is also a counter stretch for the cobra pose. Hold for about 5 to 10 seconds and slowly release. Another back bend that strengthens all the muscles of the back is the one legged bow pose or the ardhanurasan. This will also stretch the entire front body. To do the ardhanurasan, lie on your belly, stretch your arms in front. shoulder width apart and your feet about hip distance apart first take your right arm back bend your right knee and try to reach your ankle flex your foot as you inhale try and lift your chest up lift your right leg up and if possible try and lift your left arm hold this posture for about 5 to 10 seconds and as you exhale release to repeat on the left side bend your left knee take your left arm and reach for your ankle flex your foot as you inhale lift your head and your chest and at the same time lift your left leg you can either hold it here or if possible try and lift your right arm up hold again for about 5 to 10 seconds to release bring your arm down release your left leg and stretch your arms forward you can repeat this posture one more time and when you're done bring your hands in front and just rest your forehead on your palms so let's now do the bridge pose or the setu bandhasan the bridge pose will strengthen the lower back your hips and your thighs One of the hardest things to do in the bridge pose is to relax the butt. If you can manage to do that, it will free your tailbone and allow you to lift your hips up a little bit higher. To do the setu bandhasan, lie on your back, bend your knees and keep your feet flat on the mat. Your feet are about hip distance apart and your arms are by the sides of your body. 
As you inhale, squeeze your hips, lift up one vertebra at a time. Try to squeeze your hips and lift your hips up as high as you can. Hold this posture for about 5 to 10 seconds and slowly as you build strength, you can try to interlace your fingers under your back and relax your hips. This will help you to lift your hips up a little bit higher as you keep lengthening your fingers towards your heels. Hold for another 5 seconds. Now to come down, release your arms and try to bring your back down one vertebra at a time. So your middle back, your lower back and then your hips down. You can repeat this posture one more time. As you inhale, lift your hips up and slowly start to peel your back off the mat. Come up as high as you can. Squeeze your hips and your thighs and hold for about 5 seconds. And then try to interlace your fingers under your back. Bring your shoulder blades together. Lengthen your hands towards your heels. Squeeze your hips and try to lift your hips up a little higher. Hold again for about 5 seconds. And to come down, release your hands. Slowly bring one vertebra down at a time. So bring your mid back, your lower back and finally your hips on the floor. To really target the source of your back pain, you can't beat the thread the needle pose. To do this pose, lie on your back with your knees bent, your feet and shoulders on the mat. Now lift your right foot and place it on your left thigh. Keep the foot flexed and push the right leg away with your right hand. As you exhale, just thread your arms through the triangle between your legs. Interlace your fingers. Now try to keep both your feet flexed. As you exhale, start to pull your knees towards your forehead. And at the same time, keep pushing the right knee away from your face. Hold for about 5 seconds. And release. Repeat on the left side. Now place the left foot on your thigh. Push the knee back with your left hand. As you breathe out, come up. Interlace your fingers over your right knee. Keep both your feet flexed. And as you exhale, start to pull your knees towards your forehead. And slowly release. Bring your foot down and release your left leg. The key to build strong back muscles is regular yoga practice custom designed to target the problem areas. If you suffer from serious back problems, start with some simple stretches until you build your flexibility and your confidence. Yoga exercises are very popular to strengthen your lower back as they can be done at your home without the need of any particular equipment. And they can be done even if you have a few minutes to spare. So with these simple yoga poses, you can build your strength and flexibility and proceed towards relaxation and a blissful back pain relief. So do write in to us with your feedback and any particular topic you would like us to do for you.